Ah, good day, ladies and gents. Well, uh, yeah, it's another afternoon, and uh, for uh, for those who really do not know about what's happening in the family, um, let's just say that my big sister just came from another country, and it also means that well, she managed to you know bring home some goodies um, along the way, and. Um, some of them are snacks that came from, well, China. And uh, I would probably go into look into one of them. And uh, I think that you, uh, you, you may not probably know this, but uh, this is way long. Uh, God, I cannot even, cannot even understand Chinese. My apologies. La Tiao. Did I did I pronounce it correctly? Well, anyways, this is a snack of Chinese origin, and uh, it costs seven dollars, which is uh, which is basically like around three hundred ninety pesos in rather three hundred ninety Philippine peso. So yeah, I say that we check this one out and. Uh, Hopefully, I would still be breathing after this. Hmm. It has it has a s chili flavor, so I think I'm gonna probably gonna need some milk for this. Although I don't think we have milk at the moment. So okay, I see. Let's tear this thing up. Ah. Oh dear me. It's actually. Ooh, you see that? Hmm. Hmm. It looks appetizing. What does it smell though? Oh. Oh my goodness! It feels like I'm smelling fried chicken nuggets, but at the same time, it feels. It feels. Odd. It kind of reminds me of curry, to be honest. So, um, let's let's get one of these. So, oh my goodness! I'll take a look at that. It smells like it smells so strong. Just a little whiff at it makes you, you know. Makes you cry or so for something. Okay, I'm just getting a bit ahead of myself. So, well, here goes nothing. Hmm. Hmm. I did mention that it does smell like curry. But in reality, it also tastes like curry. It's also a little bit on the greasy side. But maybe that's the appeal of the snack. It kind of reminds me of beef jerky, but it's not as tender. But it also has that particular flavor that it kind of reminds me of squid, but at the same time, it feels it feels more like a combination of chicken and pork. It has a nice kick to it, but I cannot really I cannot really say that it's actually that spicy. In fact, the spiciness of this thing it's just a little bit on the mild side to be honest. It's 
it's not that strong. And I think it's like a it's like a it's like basically a little bit on the fishy side the more I taste it. It's a bit chewy too. Nevertheless, it's not entirely salty. So, if you are looking out on your salt intake, then I would probably recommend this because it's not entirely that salty. In fact, it's more on the savory side that it 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 really doesn't make you somehow guilty on eating this. Sure, it's a bit on the greasy side, but it justifies it due to the fact that it's meat. You're eating meat. Because you need to stay hydrated all the time. Ah. So all in all, I gotta say, this is a unique snack that you would probably not gonna appreciate right away. Due to the fact that it has that mild curry taste that some of us in the family don't actually appreciate. My mom specifically is not really keen to Indian flavors, which this actually has. It really does remind me of curry, but it's not as strong as you think. And uh, if you're going to Hong Kong, which where my sister brought bought this, uh, I say that you should at least uh, try this once. Just, just watch out on the grease because this thing is super greasy. Needless to say, that's all I can say about this. Um, leave a like to this video and subscribe to this channel for similar content like this. And I am going to feast on this um, after this video ends. Uh, see you ladies and gents next time. Bye!